वेलकम बैक टू ज्योति हाइड्रोपोनिक्स लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड टू गेट बेटर एट फार्मिंग इट्स जस्ट अ रिक्वेस्ट टू एवरीबॉडी टू हिट द लाइक बटन एज दिस जेस्टर रियली हेल्प्स यूट्यूब टू स्प्रेड नॉलेज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर थ्रू अवर चैनल टू ऑल इमर्जिंग फार्मर्स सो जस्ट दिस सपोर्ट इज रिक्वायर्ड फ्रॉम ऑल अवर व्यूअर्स लेट्स स्टार्ट द सेशन नाउ आर यू ऑल इंटरेस्टेड इन स्टार्टिंग अप योर ओन हाइड्रोपोनिक फार्म then you are in the right place here you would learn seven reasons for why hydroponics farm fails with a solution to it it's important to clarify that while hydroponic farming can face challenges it's not accurate to categorize it as a complete flop show hydroponics has been successfully employed in various settings worldwide and has shown promise in addressing agricultural sustainability issues however like any farming method hydroponics has its limitations and challenges some of which may contribute to less successful outcomes in certain cases but that only happens if not maintained systematically Here are some reasons why hydroponic farming might not always meet expectations but can overcome the failure of hydroponics farming by resolution to these following reasons. First one is lack of knowledge and expertise. Hydroponic farming requires specialized knowledge in areas such as plant nutrition, humidity management, water chemistry, and system management without proper training or expertise farmers may struggle to optimize growing conditions and achieve desired yields because setting up the setup is not a big deal how you manage your operational cost is the style here for example nutrition of plants is one of the biggest operational cost in hydroponics farming and you can opt for two options that is either blend your nutrients yourself or buy pre-blended nutrients for the crops you are planning to grow but always consider the point that is these pre-blended solutions given or available in the markets are far more expensive and are blended and given almost same for each and every crop that is my experience because they never mention the clear information about how they have prepared these pre-blended solutions and what all nutrition values it has therefore it becomes difficult to manage the balanced supply of nutrients to our crops and there are chances of crops ending up showing nutrient deficiencies so we suggest to blend your own nutrients as per the plant requirement from first day to last day of harvest you can ask any expert for hydroponic nutrient recipe or you can come up to us and we can provide you the recipe as per the crop requirement and we give this complete recipe for many crops that include fertigation and foliar spray recipe with schedule from first day to last day as per the crop requirement we have practiced on these recipes for years and when we got the amazing results with our recipes only then this assurity is coming to share it with everybody this can bring your hydroponics nutrients cost almost equal to the traditional farming style with complete training on strategies of conceptual learning of water and substrate chemistry humidity concept temperature concept this includes pH and EC of water and substrate temperature of water plants environment and substrate tds of fertigation water and the strained water there are many other strategies as well you need to be very careful with if you are able to do two to three crops in hydroponics then it can be a piece of cake for you but with a very attentive eye and mind second comes is the initial investment costs setting up a hydroponic system can require a significant initial investment in equipment infrastructure and technology for some farmers 
especially those with limited resources or access to financing, these upfront costs may be prohibitive. But they can take subsidies and reduce the cost as low as possible. You can rely on signs of the plants as well to decrease the cost of setup as per their requirement. Third comes is operational challenges. Hydroponic systems requires careful monitoring and management of factors such as nutrient levels, pH balance, EC balance, PDS requirement as per the crop, water quality, and environmental conditions. Inexperienced or overwhelmed farmers may find it challenging to maintain optimal growing conditions consistently. So you need to be very careful with the expertise part and that can be done with trainings and practice. The fourth challenge is disease and pest management. While hydroponic systems can reduce certain diseases and pest risks associated with soil-based farming. And there is always a myth that any crop that is grown in hydroponics is not immune to these problems. And why I say this? The reason is, if you practice doing farming with precaution style from first day to last day of harvest, it will make sure that the cost being invested for disease and pest management is much less than the traditional style of farming. Without proper sanitation practices and pest management strategies, hydroponic crops can still be susceptible to infestations and diseases that can affect yields and quality, which is same for traditional farming as well. So farming is same for hydroponics and traditional farming only the science and technology differs how we are maintaining these crops in farming. The fifth challenge is environmental factors. Hydroponic systems are sensitive to environmental conditions such as temperature, humidity and light intensity. Fluctuations or extreme in these factors can negatively impact plant growth and productivity especially in outdoor or greenhouse setups. Therefore, when you are planning for any greenhouse or net house setup, please take the yearly environmental conditions under consideration before planning to install the setup. This can reduce the cost of setup like anything. For example, we were able to maintain the temperature of our structure without any fan and path system by only using the signs of nature. For me, farming is to invest as low as possible and get as maximum as you can out of it. That is actual farming. The six challenges, market challenges. Hydroponic producers may face challenges in terms of consumer acceptance, pricing and market access. Consumers may be unfamiliar with or skeptical of hydroponically grown crops and farmers may struggle to compete with the conventionally grown produce on price or access to distribution channels. And this is just a wrong myth. This can be maintained by management style of doing farming and you can bring the cost of doing farming almost equal to traditional style farming or even sometimes less than that and that is again my experience the seventh one is scaling issues while hydroponics can be scaled to various sizes large scale commercial operations may face challenges related to efficiency labor management and economies of scale Managing larger systems requires significant organizational or logistical capabilities that may be beyond the capacity of some farmers or businesses, but can be easily managed with the proper management of the setup and operational cost. These challenges highlight some of the reasons why hydroponic farming may not always meet expectations it's essential to recognize it have a solution to all these challenges because 
there are many successful hydroponic operations existing worldwide with proper planning investment and ongoing management hydroponics farming can be a viable and sustainable solution for producing high quality and quantity crops in diverse agriculture settings we have covered all this in our training sessions where you can learn complete in and out of hydroponic strategies and concepts you get the complete schedule of nutrient recipe for roots and shoots with the foliar spray recipes of nutrients and also schedule of stress release and immune booster foliar sprays this complete nutrients and foliar training are crop specific as each and every plant has its own science so we have come up with complete schedule of fertigation and foliar spray recipe from first day to last day of harvest for most of the crops which we have practiced for years and after we got the best result only then we are sharing it with everybody and this would really bring the cost of doing farming in hydroponics almost equal to the cost same as traditional farming but for this you will have to be very careful with the humidity of environment and substrate temperature of fertigation water and substrate ph and ec of fertigation water and substrate temperature of plant and environment and many other strategies which we have covered in our course hydroponics complete training foundations of soilless agriculture on our website that is www.jyotihydroponics.com for the time being either you can access the course on desktop or laptop or you can access it through mobile with the browser on desktop version till the issue is in the phase to be fixed most probably it will take day or two to get the issue fixed but till then you can access the courses on desktop or you can access through mobile or tablets with the browser on desktop version i can assure you that you can get your most of the doubts cleared at one go and would definitely love and understand the training sessions very easy we will end the session here today and see you in our next session till then happy farming goodbye and have a nice day